hello everyone this video is on my weekly wax notes reviews for the week of july 8th through july 14th 2023 a quick little summary of the theme i use for each july is the fourth of july and a few family members birthdays who are also in july um so for the fourth of july um i do um goodies that um like the shapes labels scent names scent notes and colors that are in some way related to the fourth of july and then for birthday goodies, um, I do ones that I think suit them in some way. Um, and then also, you know, of course, birthday cake ones. <laughs> um, so I've also decided to start adding into my weekly wax notes reviews, some, um, bath and body product reviews as well. Um, just, you know, some goodies that we we're using during, you know, each week and sharing my thoughts on them as well. So we're going to start with those first. And the first one we have of those is a sample of Rocket Pop from Andromeda's Curse. This is a perfume oil. And I used this perfume oil twice this week. This did very well. This is a really great scent. It smells like exactly like a Rocket Pop, Rocket Pop. The cherry, the lemon, the blue raspberry, very good scent. Um, I like it a lot. I will definitely continue to repurchase that scent. Um, the scent um, was very strong for about two hours. And then it started to fade out a little bit, but it still lingered on the skin for the majority of the rest of the day. Um, for both days that I wore that scent this week, it did very well and a very good scent. So I love that. Um, the next one is a sample from Swanky, um, and this was a, I think she calls them uh, her body, body butters or body frostings. I can't remember. Um, but this was in the scent Angel Food Cake. Um, there's no label or anything on it. So and this is from Swanky and it is all that goodness. Um, I really like this scent and a little definitely goes a long way and the scent like this is the first time I have um, tried out any of her Bath and Body products before, and um, this scent in particular um, just lingered on the skin for such a long time, and it was just absolutely so good. Um, and then the moisturizing properties of this is just phenomenal. I love this, so I will continue to repurchase um, that Bath and Body product from them for sure. Um, next, we. Uh, went through two hand soaps from Bath and Body Works. We did raspberry green tea. And this um, is definitely green tea dominant, uh, but it is a very good scent. And this is definitely a winner um, in our home. So I will continue to repurchase that scent. Um, the next one I really, really did not like, so I will not repurchase it. This is Ice Lemon Pound Cake. Uh, to me, this was more of a like cleaner lemon, like a cleaning your house cleaner kind of lemon. Um, I did not like that. I really wanted this to be more of a bakery one. So again, I will not repurchase that scent. Ew. <laughs> no offense to anybody that, that likes that scent, <clears throat> but I do not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't like it, ma'am. And it was not what I expected either. So. All right. Now we have some, well, we have three sugar scrubs, and then one salt scrub um, samples from the Bait and Garden. Um, okay, so the Knave of Hearts, um, this is a not new to me scent um, in their Bath and Body products. Um, and all these labels, except I think one, are like super waterlogged because we use them in our shower and our bath. So I guess excuse that, but you know, whatever. So Knave of Hearts. I love this scent in her wax and in her Bath and Body products. My husband does not. I thought he would. Um, I don't think he has tried this scent before in um, any of her Bath and Body products. So I thought he would like it. So I put it with his, because I recently just um, got this in like a recent order from them. So I was like, oh, I think he's gonna really like this because this is a coconut scent and he loves coconut. And so I put it in his shower goodies and he just absolutely did not like it. So he like put it back in mine, which is fine because I love it. 
Um, so I will continue to repurchase this set. I love her sugar scrubs. They are so amazing. I love them. Love, love, love. So exfoliating. So, oh, excuse me. So exfoliating, so moisturizing, and their scent is just awesome. Um, next we have Rosy Redwood. This is a new to me scent from them. And I think this is a new to them scent, like in general, this is like a new scent for them. And it's very good. I uh, really like it. Um, so like she, she has a, like a rose glaze, which is like a rose jam type scent, um, which is one of my favorites, especially in Bath and Body products from them. Um, but this one, like I thought, cause I mean, it says rose. So I thought it was going to be very, very similar to that, but it's not really, it's not that sweet. Um, so it's rose, but it is a little like woodsy, which is very nice. I like this scent a lot more than I expected to. Um, I mean, like I said, I thought that it was going to be like close to her rose glade, like her rose jam type scent but with like woodsy notes, like a lot. Um, <laughs> but I think because, so I was like a little worried about it. Cause I was like, well, that's gonna be a really sweet rose scent with woods. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but um, it's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. Um, with still being like a, a nice rosy scent and then still with the woodsy stuff. So I think it's like a very good blend and I like it a lot. Um, next we have, so the name is completely, completely washed off. Um, but I believe this is her, um, lemon cheesecake scent. Very good. Love it. Love this scent a lot. We'll continue to purchase that one. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and then the sea salt one that my husband and I tried. Well, it's sea salted wood sage. Um, this is a salt sugar scrub. My husband and I both tried this scent out, or this salt out. Um, neither one of us had tried her salt scrubs before, um, but he tried it out first. Um, he said that, you know, because he, he works on, um, like, um, like remodeling, um, like antiques all day. So he's got a lot of, like, rough patches and stuff on his hands, um, he said it just, like, burned his hands, like, like, the salt, because, you know, it just burned his hands. He did not appreciate that. And he said, I probably wouldn't appreciate it either, because I have eczema, and I have, you know, sensitive skin. I tried it, like, just on, like, one, like, spot on the back of my hand, and it just did not make me happy. <laughs> so, that's really a bummer. Because sometimes I think that she only puts out specific scents in her salt scrubs and not in her sugar scrubs. And I really like the texture of her salt scrub. But we just we can't be doing those. Um, <laughs> and it just like flew in my hand. But it smells so good. Like this scent is so good. Oh, I love it. It's like so like beachy summery goodness. I like it a lot. But that's a bummer. Such a bummer. Um, okay, so those are all the Bath & Body products for this week's reviews. Now let's hop into the wax products for this week's reviews. Um, first we have Sassy Girl Aroma's Oh My God Pretzel, which is strawberry, white cake, sugar, cookie, marshmallow, and pretzel. I received this in an order in September 2020, and this is a brittle bar. This was full the time that I used this this week. So what I did is I used four cubes in one warmer, four cubes in a different warmer and a different area for home. And I melted this in this week and, um, I got absolutely no throw, <laughs> um, which was such a bummer. So on cold, this scent smells like a nice, sweet, berry, salty dough scent. Um, but I didn't get any throw. I don't know if it's because of the like the age of the wax, like for the scent itself or what, but I didn't get a throw. Um, so I will not repurchase this scent from them because I'm not, cause it's not like terribly old wax, but I don't know. So I'm not going to purchase that scent just in case it's just the scent. Um, not doing a good job for me, but that, so there's that one. 
Um, next we have a weird combination that I did. Um, this week we have a Savannah Blues scent and the scent Miss Sunshine, which is cotton candy frosting and salt tan sipe, which is bergamot candy. Um, and then we have a scent cup from Vintage Cheek Scents and the scent Satsuma poured. Let's see, is this one? No. Oh, okay. So the Savannah Blue was poured January 2020, and the Satsuma Vintage Cheek Scents one was poured um, March 2019. There are those, and there's that. So with these ones, <laughs> I put one of the scent cups in one warmer, one of the scent cups in a different warmer in a different area of my home when I melted these this week. Um... And I melted them at the same time. I'm um, just in separate warmers and in separate areas of our home. Um, and they both did very well. Like both of them, like super strong throw, lasted for about four hours. Um, I love VCS's Satsuma. I think she has like one of the best fragrance oils out right now. So good, love it so much. Um, and I mean, that's what the scent smells like. It smells like, you know, the Satsuma type. It smells exactly the same on warm as it does on cold. Um, the Savannah Blue one, the Miss Sunshine, smells um, just like, only like the Sultana scent from Lush. And I love that scent so much. Um, but with melting this scent this week, I have realized I do not like that scent in wax at all. <laughs> Um, so these scents, they didn't really, I don't know why I thought that they would mingle well together. Um, but they did not, they did not mingle well together at all. Um, for the most part, they kind of like stayed in their own areas with like their throw, like when the, like one of their throws, like, you know, reached its whatever part of our home, the other one kind of like you know, started from there. They didn't really like mesh together, if that makes sense. Um, except in one like small area. And in that small area, it was not nicely scented. It smelled weird. <laughs> very, 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 very weird. Um, but that, that was my bad. That's not their bad. That's my bad. Um, so with the VCS, um, I, I will continue to repurchase, um, you know, Satsuma blends from her whenever she offers them. And then if she does offer set some by itself, absolutely. Um, the Miss Sunshine from Savannah Blue, I will not repurchase from them because again, I have realized I do not like the Sultana scent um, in wax. And that is all I got from it. So there is that. Okay, next we have from Super Tarts, a band bag of Finnick, which is sugar cubes and ocean water, I think is what it is. Um, and I received this in an order in May, 2019. So there we go. Um, I put a couple cubes, um, in one warmer and a couple cubes in a different warmer in a different area of our home. And I melted this in this week and this is phenomenal. Um, very good, strong throw, lasted for about four hours, and it smells exactly the same on warm as it does on cold, um, and it smells, as described, it smells like a, like a very sweet, like, oceany water type of scent. Um, I love this scent, and I'm pretty impressed with how good it did throw, um, with the age of it, because it's, like, over five years old now, or four years old now, um, so I'm pretty impressed by that. Um, so this one is definitely like, um, one of my like all stars this week because that's impressive in and of itself. Plus I just really love this scent and this scent is actually in, um, my like current top, uh, 10 like summery scents. So love that. Okay. And then next we have from Vintage Cheek Scents, we have a, um, a unicorn face shape in the scent cupcakes at the cafe which is yummy rich vanilla strawberry cupcakes poured october 2019 um and this smells exactly as described it smells like cupcakes at tiffany's with strawberry um smells the same on warm as 
it does on cold um however but you can see i like i cut this uh tart in half i put half of it the the, the half part i cut off um and one warmer let this scent go on by itself um but i barely got a throw from it it was like incredibly low like super low throw um and it only lasted like not even an hour before it completely fizzled out um, so again, October 2019, I mean, it's pushing like four years old for a wax tart, so it could be that. Um, and I think it is that because I know a lot of her other strawberry scents that I really do enjoy are much stronger throwers than this. And I know Cupcakes at Tiffany's just in general is a strong fragrance oil, so I think it is age. So I'll continue to repurchase the scent from them. I'll just make sure not to let it get quite so old. Okay, I'm going to move these right here. Um, not that. Oh, but okay. So we have another sip from Vintage Chicks. This. this is in Little Briar Rose. This is a chopped up loaf. Uh, so we have green apple, pomegranate, cotton candy poured January 2020. So this scent I love. Love, 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 love. And this is actually one of my mom's favorite scents too. Um, she really enjoys it. Um, so here's that. Chopped up both. Very good scent. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, where are you? Yes. Okay. So this is such a great scent. This is like like one of my top scents um, for this week because it is just so incredible. I love this scent so much. And then with it like pushing, um, well, now it's like what, three and a half years old now. Yeah, this is such a great scent. Um, I got a really good, strong throw. lasted for about four hours. Um, to me, on cold and on, on, on warm, it smells exactly the same, like green apple and pomegranate. But not like a green apple Jolly Rancher, just like a really yummy green apple. Um, I don't really get um, any specific cotton candy on warm or on cold, um, but it is a very sweet scent. And I love it. I love it a lot. And I will continue to repurchase this scent again and again and again. From the, it is just so good. I love it so much. Um, highly, highly recommend if you love fruity scents. Mmm, so good. Good, strong throw too. Okay. Um, next from Super Tarts, we have a rebegged clam of Dorothy, which is cactus, sea salt, camu, camu, and guava. And I received this in the order in April 2020. Um, so this was a full clam. Um, so there you go. Used the whole clam this week. Um, I put two cubes in three different warmers in three different areas of our home when I melted this in this week. Um, and this did very well. Um, to me, on cold and on warm, it smells exactly the same. It's like a tropical sweet scent with like a little like a little bit of like a like a fruity perfume type of note to it very good strong scent lasted for about four plus hours really good and i will continue to repurchase that um another one of my like top favorites for this week and i forgot to mention um with little briar rose from vcs um i did one like good size chunk in one warmer and a smaller size chunk and a different warmer um in a different area of our home and i melted this in this week too so just you know that for clarification okay and then from rainbow melts have a partial brittle of hers in the scent ice lemon zucchini cookie which is creamy zucchini bread a lemon cookie and sweet lemon icing poured january 2020 so this was a partial loaf. Now it's even a more of a partial, not loaf, uh, brittle. <laughs> um, so this scent um, smells on cold. Smells much more lemony to me. It's more, it's more like a lemon cookie on cold. But on warm, I really only smell zucchini. And it's like a creamy zucchini. But I don't get any lemon cookie at all on warm. Um, but the scent, um, was a really good strong throw, lasted for about four hours, um, and I was just like waiting and waiting for the lemon to come out, but it did not, um, so that's a bummer. 
Um, so I will not repurchase the scent um, from them again because it was not what I wanted it to be. But I mean, it's a good strong bikini scent. Just wanted more of the cookie, like the lemon cookie to come out. So that's a bummer, but what gonna do me? Okay, next we have a Glitterati goodie. This is a Glitterati chunk and they sent bubblegum cookies poured July 21. This is a full chunk. I right, chopped it in half, put half of it in one warmer, half of it in a different warmer in a different area of our home. I melted this scent this week and it did really, really well. Um, a medium to strong throw lasted for about four hours. Um, and it smells the same to me on warm as it does on cold, which is like a really yummy candied sugar cookie. Um, I wouldn't specifically say like, like bubble gum as the candy, but it smells like a candied sugar cookie. Very yummy, absolutely delicious scent, um, and really good throws. So yes, I will continue to repurchase this. Oh, and I received it in a bee stash recently. So that's why there's bee there. Oh, and I forgot to say, um, so with this rainbow melts one, I did four squares in one warmer, four squares in a separate warmer when I melted this in this week, and both warmers were in two different areas of our home. I melted this in this week too, so there's that one. Okay, do do do. <laughs> um, let's see, next we have two scent cups from Wolf Licks in The Duke. Um... And I know that they renamed their company a bit ago, but I can't remember what it's called right now. I think it's like, I think it's called Papa Milk, actually. Um, so I received both of these scent cups in an order in May 2019. There's two. And there's no scent notes on these, um, but I do know that they are a, clearly because of the scent. Um, I know that it is a barbershop. Um, like shaving cream blend and I think it, the like I think there's like one more scent note in there and I think it's vanilla bean oil um, but mostly on cold and on warm I just get the um, barbershop scent and it's a very good very good one like that barbershop scent like fragrance oil phenomenal I love it so I put one of the scent cups in one warmer, one of the scent cups in a separate warmer in a separate area of our home. When I melted these scents this week and this did incredibly well. Really good strong throw, lasted for about four hours. Um, I love this scent, it smells the same on warm as it does on cold, I love it. Um, I will continue to repurchase this scent from them if they offer it, but honestly, I haven't really looked much into them since they've changed their name not for any particular reason why i'm just a slacker i guess i don't know um but there's that one okay so the next one is from southbound counter co this is in the scent hoppy easter now you may be asking why is there an easter scent in your july like you know wax fix i don't know i don't know i have no idea um, but it is. So I was like, well, huh, I guess we're gonna check it out anyway. <laughs> um, so this was a full clam when I melted this in this week. So Happy Easter, which is mango, sorbet, pink sugar, and fizzy orange soda. Um, and I did not put when I received this, um, on the label as I usually do. And so I'm pretty sure I received this in, um, like mid spring 2021 in order then um but i put two cubes in one warmer two cubes in a separate warmer in a different area of our home and i melted this in this week and it did very well um very good strong throw lasted for about three hours and it smells the same on warm as it does on cold to me which is a mango pink sugar with like a fizzy note to it um a really good scent um the orange soda part like the orange part of the fizzy soda um, I didn't really get on warm or on cold, um, but there's a very, very good scent, so I will con continue to repurchase it because, I mean, it's very, like, unique to me, like mango, um, pink sugar, and then fizzy soda, like, like, you don't see that a whole lot right now, and I think, like, I like how unique it is, um, 
I mean, even if everybody had it, I would still continue to repurchase it because it is such a good scent. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Okay. So next we have another Rainbow Melts goodie. This was a unicorn face shape in the scent Cotton Candy Cookies, which is sweet sponge sugar and their house blend of sugar cookies poured March 2019. So this was a unicorn face shape. Um, I cut it in half, but half in one warmer, half in a separate warmer in a different area of our home when I melted this this week and it did very well. Um, especially for the age because it is like... It is over four years old now. Um, but good strong throw. Um, it did last only about three hours, but I mean, again, it's over four years old now and it still did really well. I'm pretty impressed by that. Um, plus I just really love her cotton candy fragrance oil. Like, oh my goodness, is it so delicious. I love it. Um, so yes, I will continue to repurchase that scent. And then the last item for this weekly wax melts reviews video is um, a scent from Vintage Cheek Scents in the scent Bluebird Cafe, which is fresh picked strawberries poured February 2020. And this was a unicorn face shape. Um, I put half in one warmer, half in a separate warmer in a different area of our home when I melted this scent this week. And this did very well. Um, smells exactly the same on warm as it does on cold, which is the, like, what I call the vintage cheek scent strawberry, because not a whole lot of vendors have that kind of strawberry, and it is, like, my favorite. Um, but that's exactly what it smells like. Really good, um, like, medium to strong throw. Um, lasts for about three hours before it starts dozing out a little bit. Um, I really enjoy this scent. I love it so much. And I, yes, I will continue to repurchase it because it is so good. Yeah. All right. Well, that is everything for my um, weekly wax melts and now bath and body care reviews for the week of July 8th through July 14th, 2023. Thank you all, <coughs> excuse me, so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.